I guess we'll fight. That was easy. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky! Yeah, I beat you into next week. Next week? But can you really? Never mind. Guess we can do this. Shining face! Yeah, we're done. That's the logical outcome. Oh, there's no challenge at all. Don't let him trip you up. Alright, who's next? Don't get in our way. Oh, I feel so powerful. Hooray for the old man! But you're going bye bye. Alright, who's next? Oh, 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 Wonderful! Come, oh silver light! my enemies! Oh, you thought you could win? Too bad! Shouldn't you be using this a little more? Anomalous air conditions result in Blastia going out of control, which in turn leads to monsters turning vicious. If this is related to the distortion he was talking about, then it might not be only this forest that's affected. You sure mumble to yourself a lot, don't you? Uh, what? Another monster attack? Carol, keep your head down! It's... it's them! Dawn! You all do something? Do something? What do you mean? Those savage monsters turned docile as pups and ran off! What did you do? Yuri, it must be because we stopped the flow of the air. The monsters turned tame because we stopped the runaway air! Runaway air? Hmm... Hey, old man, do you know something? Well, my old friend Bellius used to say something about it. 
So it's true that Don and Bellius are friends. Who is Bellius? The Duce who rules the Colosseum of Nordopolica. Nordopolica. And what's with that runaway heir? It was really amazing. More and more really strong monsters kept on coming, but we... Boy, those are the sorts of things you keep to yourself. What? You don't do deeds like that so other people will notice. You do them so that you can protect your town and your friends. I'm... I'm sorry. Excuse me, could I see him for a moment? What? Oh, you can use healing arts. Thank you. Mm, ain't that Raven over there? Quit hiding, you! <laughs> Our man ain't giving you trouble, is he? What do you mean, trouble? The reason the monsters got tame was our doing, mine especially. Huh? Raven's a member of Altosk? Somehow that seems to be the case. Ouch, Gramps, cut that out! Shut up, you! Don Whitehorse. What is it? I know we've only just met, but I have something I need to talk to you about. Quite the strapping young lad, aren't you? What's your name? I'm Yuri. Yuri Lowell. Yuri, eh? So you must be the leader here. Uh, excuse me, Gramps. Anybody home? Uh, there ain't been too many lively youngsters around here lately. So I've grown bored. I'll listen to you. But in exchange, you gotta indulge me for a bit. Jeez, what a time for that old geezer's bad habit. What are you talking about? Whenever he finds someone who shows a little backbone, he just has to test them. Test? Test what? Their strength, of course. Exactly. Now, come and indulge an old man in his innocent hobby. No, 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 no. You can count me out. Hey, he just took off. All right. An opportunity to face the head of a guild isn't the kind of thing that comes along every day. <laughs> That's the spirit. Show me what you got. If you're so old, then retire and drink tea in peace. Sorry, but that's really not my style. It's feast! A monster, old man? I feel power running all through my body. <laughs> I'm just getting started. Well, that's enough. After all, if we keep this up, this is gonna turn into a real battle. That was the most fun I've had in a long time. All right, I'll hear you out now. Done. Sorry to interrupt. Ah, uh, I see. All right, you dogs. Time to head out! Sorry about this, but something's come up. We gotta return to Dongrest. If you come by the Union, you'll have my ear first chance I get. Hope that's okay. If I have your word, that's fine by me. Hmm. You're not nervous at all to talk to me. You all would make a good addition to our guild. I was giving him everything I got in that fight, though. Hmm, a guild, huh? 
We're gonna make one, right? We'll see. So, what do you think? Y'all finally get a taste of how awesome I am? I sure didn't notice you being too awesome out there. Always so quick to criticize. Alright, I'd like to go back to Dongress to meet with Adon and keep looking for Barbos. Rita, once Yuri's done with his business, we should go back to report. Rita? Oh, what was that? Once Yuri's done, we should go back to report to Alexei. Is something the matter? N no it's nothing. Come on, let's go back. Guess we can do this. Shouldn't you be using this a little more? This is my victory pose! Oh, I feel so powerful! Hooray for the old man! That's the logical outcome!
So you've come back, have you? Yuri. What? You two know each other? Yes. We're old friends. You don't say. I see you know Yuri as well. We crossed paths during the assault on the city. Now then, what business did you have? Uh... We came to ask you about a man named Barbos of the Blood Alliance. It looks like he's the one behind the recent string of stolen Blastia cores. I see. So Barbos is tied up in your problem as well. You have a problem with him too? We have come to ask that the Union relinquish all ties with the Blood Alliance. Other guilds have begun to follow Barbos' example, abusing Blastia in other areas and disrupting the order of society. If we can count on your assistance, I feel that together we should move to put an end to the Blood Alliance. Barbos? Yeah. <laughs> He's been testing the limits of my patience lately. Looks like it's time to remind that brute how a proper guild behaves. A clash between the guilds and the Empire was avoided the other day, largely due to your intervention. However, if Barbos is left unattended, the relations between our two states may yet again be torn apart. And that's not going to be fun for anybody. The time for stopping Barbos is now. Since we'll be cooperating with you, I assume we'll be on equal standing with the Empire in this. Yes, sir. <laughs> if that's the case, a united front with the Empire might not be such a bad idea. Then... Yeah. We'll deal with this together. Hey, send the message to Bellius. <laughs> Tell Bellius that Nora Pollock is gonna help us. Man, this is serious. I have brought a letter from His Highness, Yoder. A secret note from the Imperial Candidate, huh? Read it aloud. If Don Whitehorse is taken out of the picture, we are willing to overlook the Union's responsibility in the Barbos affair. What? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. What? What is this? Looks like you and the young Master see things a bit differently. There must be some mistake. Master Yoder would never say such a thing. Show our guest here to his own private suite. Don Whitehorse, please listen to me. This is some sort of trap. Flynn! Why would you... Hang on. If we screw up, it'll only make things worse for Flynn. <gasps> All out war with the Empire! We'll take everything we've got and march on the Imperial capital! Try and make a fool out of me and I'll tear these little messengers limb from limb! And it looks like he's forgotten all about talking with us. I don't think that Don's in much of a talking mood right now. I have to return to the Empire and find out what's really going on. I said hang on. We should sit still for now and see what happens. I... I suppose you're right. Huh, that's strange. What's the matter, Yuri? It looks like I dropped my wallet somewhere. At a time like this? Maybe it fell out of my pocket at the Don's place. I'm gonna go look. You wait here. Okay. Don't take too long. 
Alrighty, now to go see how Flint's holding up. Yuri. Thought I was being quiet, but I guess you heard me. So, you've come to have a laugh at me in this sorry state? Yeah, I wanted to see what kind of expression being locked up put on your face. It doesn't hurt to be forced to view things from behind bars every now and then. What the hell you think you were doing, coming here with a letter like that? That was the Red Eyes doing. They attacked after you left. You don't screw up like that. Was it one of your people? Even if it was, the responsibility is mine. I see. If the Red Eyes are involved, then Rago's gotta be behind it all. But how do you know? At the harbor, we saw Rago giving orders to one of their assassins. I hadn't heard about that. Do you know what they're trying to do? Most likely, they want to force a clash between the guilds and the knights. That'd be... bad. You think another one of those false letters went to the Knights? Yes, to put them in a fighting mood. If you know that much, then get out there and get the real letters back. I was wondering how long it'd take you to get rid of that damn lock. <laughs> You've got to stay here. What, and be your scapegoat? You're just itching to get rid of me, aren't you? Yuri, if I don't make it back... You'll have to die in my place. Yeah. <laughs> Taking your friend's place in a jail cell? You lost your mind, son. This coming from an old man who gets rid of his own guards on purpose. Hmm. I had a special favor to ask that rookie knight. You mean Flynn? The rats that plan these sort of stunts usually like to enjoy their handiwork from somewhere nearby. If you knew the letter was fake, why'd you fire everyone up like that? If I didn't make a good show of things, whoever's behind all this wouldn't bother to come watch. Besides, we've got a lot of hotheads around here who'd never let me hear the end of it if I didn't raise hell. So that's where it stands. Of course, if our friend the Knight doesn't show up again... Your life is mine. I know. Tell me one thing, though. What made you want to start a guild in the first place? I realized I couldn't protect the things that were important to me playing by the Empire's rules. There have to be some things that were easier to protect when you were on the other side, though. Even in the lower quarter where I'm from, we still had the barrier to protect us. Sure. But were you happy with just putting up with all the things you didn't like? Well, I... So if the rules the Empire sets don't suit you, you got two choices. You can do like your friend is, and put everything you've got to change in the system. Or, you can turn your back on the Empire, and live by the rules you set for yourself. That's pretty clear cut. Yep. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to take responsibility for letting my prisoner go. You want me to do something besides rotting in this cell? The sap who's been putting together this little show has got to be somewhere in this city. Oh, I've been planning on asking your armor-wearing friend to hunt him down for me, but... So what? You want me to find them? Your job is to pay this debt back to me. How you go about it is up to you. That young lady you brought with you is running all over the place helping with the injured folks. You're not the type to be the only one sitting around twiddling its thumbs, right? Estelle. Huh. <laughs> That sounds like her.
out of the way! The dawn is passing through! Is he really planning on going to war just to lure those rats out of hiding? We'll teach those Imperial bastards to look down on us! Oh, Yuri! Have you finished healing the injured yet? How did you know that? The Don told me. This is from him, his way of saying thanks. But Yuri, things have gotten really bad! Yeah, I noticed. No, that's not what I mean! What else? I saw them! You saw who? The Blood Alliance. Barbos wasn't with them, but... Rita and Repeat are shadowing them right now! Just what the Don wanted. Let's catch up with Rita! Yeah. Rita. Yes! Let's go inside. But if Barbos is in there... Then we can't just sit around and watch either, huh? What should we do? Let me give you a tip. Oh, it's you again. Hey, hey, is it okay you being here? No, it ain't okay, but the Don asked me to make sure you youngsters don't screw things up. Why don't you guys come with me to a tavern and hear what I got to say? We don't have the time to... Aw, oh, come on! You sound like you think I'm gonna trick you! Well, you have tricked us before! I can handle getting tricked a couple times. But there are limits to my patience, old man. What's with the grim face? I get it. All right. Come now, kids. Show me those pearly whites. All right, this way. We're coming through. What is this place? Just a place that Don has for drinking with important guests and having secret conversations. Are you telling us just to stay here and drink? If your friend comes back with the real letter, things could be settled peacefully. Sorry, but I can't let Flynn hog all the glory. We need to find the criminal behind all of this trouble. If that happens to be Barbos... Easy now. Haste makes waste. What's this? There are sewer tunnels that sprawl in a labyrinth beneath this town. Long ago, when the town was occupied by the Empire, the guilds used these tunnels to fight back. Wait! Don't tell me this place is connected to those sewer tunnels! That's exactly what it is. And our plan is to use them to sneak right up behind those guys. Quickly sneak in and catch them, huh? It's a bit of a detour, but it's the best chance we got. That's the idea. Aren't you glad you trusted me? I won't know that until it's all over. So, you still don't trust me, huh? Naturally, you'll be coming with us too, right, old man? Aw, oh, crap! Then I was totally planning on skipping town. I'm saying we want to share the glory with you, old man. Come on, let's go! Oh, it's pitch black. I'd rather not get lost in here and never see the light of day again. Yo, genius mage girl, can you use some fire magic and light up this place? Are you trying to use me as your personal lamp? You've got some nerve, old man. Rita, isn't there something you can do? Hmm, nope. Fire magic is only used for combat. 
For us to have continuous illumination, air would need to be constantly supplied. Like Lux Blastia. Huh. Really? You weren't counting on that, were you, old man? <laughs> hmm. Is this a Blastia? It's seriously damaged, but I think we can use it. Whoa! Isn't that thing gonna explode? Are we okay? Of course it's not gonna explode. This is a type of Lux Blastia. It uses that device to charge air and light up. I knew you could do it, Rita. But it's on its last leg, so I don't think it'll last too long. Let's get moving while we've still got light. Monsters! Um, they won't attack us, will they? We shouldn't have anything to worry about. <sighs> the light! We need to charge up some air before it goes out. What the? Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. Even indestructible evil. That was easy. That was scary! I never expected monsters to wait for us to drop our guard before an attack! There's no way any monster is that smart. Perhaps they're weak against light or something? There are monsters like that? There are indeed. Creatures that live in dark places such as caverns in the ocean floor sometimes have an aversion for light and work hard to avoid it. Oh, right. So that's why they didn't attack when it was bright! Oh. There's another one of those machines! Oh, how interesting! So we just need to be careful to recharge the lamp before it runs out of juice.
Let's get this over with. You didn't think I was that strong, did you? There's something carved here. Words? What is this? Long ago, our ancestors abandoned their nations for forgetting their duty to protect their people, and thus became the true defenders of freedom. That is how the guilds first began. But now, the iron shackles of oppression threaten to strangle us once again. It is because we have forgotten the oath of our ancestors and spent our time fighting one another for our own self-interests. Therefore, we must once again return to the basic principles behind the guilds and join our strengths together as one. We offer our swords for freedom, our shields for friendship, and our lives for the common good. Here we renew our ancient oath. Hey! Isn't that the Union Oath? What is that? It's like a slogan that the Dawn came up with when he formed the Union. We can't depend on the Empire, so we have to protect each other. In order to do that, we need to join forces and put our lives on the line for one another. But what's the Oath doing in a place like this? The Union is based on the guilds that resisted when this town was occupied by the Empire. Before that, guilds just did whatever they wanted and only joined together when there was a problem. Once things were resolved, they'd split up again. But with the Empire's occupation, they changed that. So the guy who led those guild forces was Don Whitehorse? Yep. These sewer tunnels must have really come in handy back then. So that's when they made the oath here? Seems that way. I'd heard there was an actual written oath, but I had no idea it'd be etched in a wall like this. There's something beautiful about how the oath is written on a wall. It says, I freed right here. 
Oh yeah, that infamous King of the Pirates. The way Don tells it, he was supposedly a sworn ally. But he was such a shrewd and cunning individual that even the Don had difficulty dealing with him. The Don's a pretty impressive guy to be able to call someone like that a sworn ally. Our lives for the common good, huh? I'm glad I got to see something so fascinating. But we take care of Barbos now. Let's go. tavern in the eastern part of town used by Barbos as a hideout. Basically, it's the place you guys were trying to sneak into. Then Barbos is somewhere around here? Looks like there's a second floor. Let's see what's up there.
Barbos, what is the meaning of this? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. The Tower and the Blastia, of course. I have yet to receive any reports about them. Why should I have to report to you about something like that? What? Building that lousy tower fortress of yours without speaking a word of it to your own employer? You even went so far as to use Leviathan's claw for help! I'm not your lapdog, Rago. I just gathered the cores together, like you requested. It's thanks to my efforts that you were able to make that weather-controlling Blastia. And just what made you think it was okay to carry off the extra cores? Our mutual non-interference was a condition of our agreement, was it not? What? And did I ever interfere with what you were doing? Barbos, how dare you! You will leave now, Magistrate. Remember this, Barbos. Black-hearted filth like you always get what they deserve in the end. You want to talk, Rago? You guys! It's the World Series of Villains, and you had to take the best seat in the house? What fool would dare to heckle my exquisite performance? Oh, -ho! if it isn't the little runts I met on the ship. You're the one who's been causing all of the recent chaos. On what of it? You fools will never manage to capture me. Oh, yeah? What's your reasoning there? A villain is someone who never considers losing a possibility. That's why he thinks the way he does. If so, then that makes you quite a villain, Yuri. Yep, I'm nefarious. <sighs> so we're rebelling, huh? You're a real troublemaker, you know that? You've got a big mouth, brat. You would dare to oppose me? I thought I told you before that next time you wouldn't get off so easy. All the better for us to tear things up. Take them down! The fools have started to march! Now that meddlesome Don and the Knights will destroy each other! He did this to destroy the Union and to eliminate the Dawn! If the Knights are destroyed, who will protect the Empire? Rago, why would you... Oh... Of course! He's gonna weaken the Imperial Knights so that the Council can step in and control the Empire! And he's going to use the Blood Alliance to seize Altosk and rule over the Union. Oh my! The Knights and the Union going down together. It's just as Flynn said. <laughs> so what if you know now? No matter what you do, you won't be able to stop the battle! Huh, we'll see. And your existence comes to an end here! Damn it, he's too late! Flynn! Stop! All of you! Sheath your blades! Sheath them! I am Flynn Sheetho of the Imperial Knights. I have come bearing a letter from Master Yoder. The letter you received from the Empire was false. It was the work of a rebel. Draw back your armies at once! I thought you weren't coming back. And leave Yuri behind to take the fall for me? I wouldn't dream of it. Rego, you fool! You didn't keep up your end of the bargain. Don't hurt me! Damn! Yuri! They're aiming at Flynn! Got him! Nice shot, Carol! You brats think you can stop me? Get out of here! Head for the exit! Yuri, no! It's too dangerous! It should take time for the air to recharge. I'll try and stop him before then. Now! You're too late! No! It charged up too quickly! What the hell? What in the world is that? Oh, so you're back for more, Dragon Freak?
Rita, knock it off! Our enemy's over there! My enemy is this dragon freak! Leave it alone for now! <laughs> I'm gonna make you wish you hadn't done that! What? He can fly? Oh, so the boss is heading for the hills, huh? Back here, you freak! Think I'm just gonna let you get away? If you're going after him, let me come with you. We're a little short on wings around here. Are you crazy? This jerk's our enemy! No matter what happens, I've gotta catch that guy. Come on! Thanks. Wait, what about us? This guy's overloaded enough as it is. But what should we... You guys hold down the fort here. What? Stay out of trouble. Damn it, Yuri! And let Flynn know I'm stepping out for a while. So that cyclone was his doing. Here comes trouble. You... you've destroyed the Blastia! Hey, are you okay? Bastards! We're just getting started. Ha! My men won't have any trouble taking care of a brat like you. Now rip him to pieces! was easy. I feel power running all through my body. Is that all you got? Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you your place. Huh, that's a handy sword you've got. Think you lost because of this sword, huh? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, talk it up while you've got the chance. We've got a nice, painful death all set up for you.
Now shut up for a while. What's the deal? Please, I've got to get out of here. It's always something with you, isn't it, old man? It's not polite to point sharp objects at your elders. Hey! That's enough. Damn it! A woman? And she's Christian? Are you all right? <laughs> sorry. Well, after all, you did help Baul back there. Baul? Yes, my friend. Oh, you mean that monster? So tell me, what are you going around destroying Blastia for? <sighs> not a big deal if you don't feel like talking about it. I'm afraid it's not as impressive as you might think. I'm destroying them because I want to. You're right, I'm not all that impressed. So that's why you mashed up Barbos's Blastia too? Yes, but I didn't finish the job. And can you just let this one go? There wouldn't be any fun in destroying something like that. Huh. Hey, why don't we work together a little longer? Hmm. It's true, I wasn't able to finish off the Blastia on the roof. Okay, then. So what do we do? Hmm, there is one way I was thinking we could get out of here. Well, if you think it might work, what's the harm in trying it out? I always say, those who can, should. Okay, just go along with me on this. I'll just follow your lead. Don't worry. It's a little nerve-wracking working with a pretty lady, though. Oh, that is it! Ugh. Pipe down! Cut it out! You cut it out! I said that's enough! I've had it up to here with you! Somebody get me away from this psycho! So I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson, huh? Ta-da! You're free! Thanks for your help. I think I still owe you one more. Huh? Guess I, uh, overdid it back there. There. That makes us even. I'm Yuri. Yuri Lowell. Judith. Judith? Uh, Judy's easier to say. Fine by me. Alright, on to the next objective. Next? Well, we could check out the Blasty on the roof. All we have to do is go up. Won't your friends be waiting for you? I don't mind taking care of the Blastia first. Up we go, then. And how exactly do we go up? This is heavy. Yeah, just go wander off. Reminds me of a certain princess. A princess? Never mind. There's got to be a way up around here somewhere. Let's see what we can find. Looks like we can't go any higher, and we can't go outside either. What's the matter? My spear is gone. Things might be difficult without a weapon. Hmm. What the? Is the sorcerer's ring broken? Did the air here do this? Hey, you're more fashion conscious than I thought. This isn't fashion. You go like this, and... 
It moved. It's powered up. I'll bet you could move other levers with that, too. You think it's okay? I'm afraid it might blow up or something. If it happens, it happens. For now, let's pull that lever over there. If something this tiny exploded, I guess it wouldn't be too dangerous. Okay, this is my weapon. Can't find yours? Someone might have just took it. Maybe. Why don't you just pick one here? Uh, right. Was that something special for you? Yes, it was. Well, this should do for a while. I'll take this. Are you fine with that? I don't think I will find my weapon here. I'll look for it as I go on. I'll try looking for it too. Thank you. You're pretty strong. Can you use an overlimit by any chance? Sure, yeah. Okay, then try this. Huh? What's this? The Limit Duo. Your battle spirit can allow you to use even more powerful overlimits. Oh, yeah? If your battle spirit is the real thing, that is. So, what else can you tell me about these strong overlimits? You can produce more power when attacking alone. Is that so? I still don't quite get it. Really? Maybe you'll pick it up as you use them in battle. Sounds good to me. Alright, let's get moving then. Oh man. Alright, alright. Power, 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 power! <laughs> Easy. There! 
rest of them. <laughs> Looks like you guys have things under control. Yuri! Hey, what gives? Come on, lay off, will you? Are you okay? Were you hurt? Never been better. You worry too much. I thought I told you all to stay put for a while. What do you expect? We were worried about you. Hey, just for the record, I wasn't worrying about him. Well, I for one was worried sick. Yeah, right. Why would you bother coming all the way out here anyway? It's like this, see? The Don's having a fit, saying there's no way he'll let Barbos make a fool out of him. But I'm the one he sends to do his dirty work. What do you think you guys are doing coming in this way? Well, the front door was locked. That's not the point. And who might this lovely Critian be? Is she a princess? Laying it on a little thick there, old man. This is Judith. And we were locked up together. Hello. Hi, I'm Carol. I'm Estelise. But we all call her Estelle. Rita Mordio. And I am the great... Old man. It's Raven. R-A-V-E-N. Raven! You have to wonder about people who introduce themselves like that. Hmm. That didn't quite have the zing I was looking for. I think that'll do for now. <laughs> what an interesting bunch of people. Ooh. I think she likes me. Idiot. Judith, what were you doing in a place like this? I came to have a look at the Blastia. All the way out here? Why? I... She was captured while she was on a sort of research trip. Yeah, the Critia do like their research. <laughs> Were you able to locate your Aqua Blastia? Nope, not this time either. I wonder if it's somewhere here in this tower. <laughs> Are you all right? Flynn? What's a lieutenant doing here all alone? We're short on manpower. Besides, I had no idea how dangerous it would be. Is everything going okay? The Don told everyone the truth, so things have calmed down. There's no longer any worry of conflict. My people have secured Rago's subordinates, and the Union has neutralized the town's mercenaries. All that's left is Barbos. Your Highness, it's terribly dangerous. So please, stay here with Yuri and the others. It's far too dangerous for you to go all alone. We're going with you. No, I cannot permit that. Hold up, we've got a bit of history with Barbos, so we're not about to throw in the towel after coming this far. Besides, I'm pretty sure Estelle's just gonna go after you anyway. Yuri... <sighs> Very well. Then we'll go together. There isn't much time, and it should be safer this way. Everything settled? Then let's go. What is it, old man? Uh, nothing. Just thinking how you could really brag to your friends if you lived in a place like this. Hmm. <laughs> Repeat, come on. I guess you too, old man. You guess? What's that supposed to mean? Aren't you a little old for hide-and-seek? What's wrong with poking your head out every once in a while? These kids are really giving it a go. They could use your help every now and again. If such a necessity arises, I shall interfere. No such necessity exists now. All right, all right. I know you've got your own business to take care of. I do not have the time for these clowning antics of yours. Jeez, watch where you're pointing words like that. The affairs of this world hold no interest for me.
So you use a spear too. Oh, do you know someone who also uses a spear? Eh, well not quite. It just reminds me of some jerk. Are you talking about that dragon rider? Yeah. Hey, don't you have something you need to tell me? What? Me? Yes. So where is the dragon freak now? We got separated up on the roof. I'm pretty sure he wasn't too badly hurt. Good, because I can't very well beat him up if he's already injured. Whoa, whoa, that's the whole reason you came here? No! I also can't forgive this Barbos guy for what he did. Abusing Blastia like that. Has he no shame? That's no reason to bring the princess along with you to a dangerous place like this. Flynn, why didn't you stop her? My apologies. We must have missed each other in Dongrest. So that's why she panicked and chased after you? It's not Rita or Flynn's fault. I decided to come here myself. I couldn't let you go all by yourself. Besides, I can't watch bad people doing harm to others and simply let it happen. I agree. Very well said. Your Highness. Captain Carroll, don't let me down. I'm counting on your skills. Yes, of course! Come on, let's go take that jerk to school. I'm sorry, but would you mind keeping your background to yourself? We've got someone who might kind of explode if she knew. Sure, I understand. That'll be best for both of our interests. Sorry if I hurt you! There's still a lack of devotion. You're as stiff as ever. That's why you... Yes, indeed.
It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Don't hurt us now. There's still a lack of devotion. You're as stiff as ever. That's why you... Such good friends. It looks like this floor is set up the same way as the one below. So that means we've got some gears to move. What do you think they're protecting with all these different layers of devices? Maybe it's just their pride as a guild. Stay composed. was a fine bit of training. I've unlocked new strength. Oh, I feel so powerful.
right. Yeah, easy win. Next week. Next week? Again, uh, yes, stubborn punk. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hey, the core in that sword is that the core of the Aqua Blast? Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. These fools don't know when to give up. Kaponor, Dongrest, and now all the way to Gosforost. I've always hated kids. Barbos, this has gone on long enough. Save what's left of your honor and give up! The knights will be here any moment. Any further resistance is futile. That's right, you're finished! Oh, this is far from finished. I put ten years into building Gasforos' spire, and while it stands, nothing can stop me! And with that man and the Empire wrapped around my finger, I was able to build my magnificent Blastia! That man? You think I'm just gonna let you waste the lower quarter's core like this? Oh, it won't go to waste. I'll use this to eliminate Whitehorse, 
and then I will be leader of the guilds. Then the Empire is next. With this power at my disposal, the very world will be mine. And I'll start with you! Begone, worms! Is everyone all right? That sword is gonna be a problem. Problem? Is that thing even legal? It is very powerful. <laughs> the Blastia seems to be working just fine! What? What's wrong? <laughs> you haven't won yet. All right, playtime's over. Time to wipe Dongrest off the map and you along with it! Get down. and not having any time or interest. Hey, that's... Rita, never mind that! Piece of crap! Looks like the tables have turned, Barbos. So, all that fancy wisdom and the power of the blast here were nothing but a sham. Should have known from the start that I'd have to depend on my own strength! Take up your swords! You know, it was so much easier to deal with when he was all drunk on power. Yeah, there's nothing worse than an enlightened idiot. I am the only man to stand as White Horse's equal in battle. Now you will know the power of Barbos the Stormblast! And his blood alliance! Take you thugs down! You little punks are nothing to me! I'll squash you like bugs! And I'll squash the Union and rule the world! That's a nice dream. I'll make sure it doesn't happen. You have no right to threaten people's peace. Silence! Now know the true power of Barbos the Stormblast! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
stay down. It's over. Accept your fate. all through my body. Oh, I feel so powerful! Your henchmen have run out on you. That's it, Barbos. It looks like you were the fool who didn't know when to give up. <laughs> Perhaps you were right. Then you'll surrender. I... I won't be humiliated any more than this. Yuri, was it? <laughs> you remind me of Whitehorse in his youth. You're his spitting image. Hope you're not saying I'm gonna end up like that old man. Not exactly something to look forward to. Like the Don. Sooner or later, you will make great enemies in this world. And then that world will consume you whole. Regret, sorrow, and despair will hound you all the way to hell. And I will be waiting there for you. I'm so glad the core is safe. Wow, the Aqua Blastia core is so small. So we've got your core back. That takes care of one problem. Yes, but we weren't able to take Barbos into custody. Yes, that alone is quite regrettable. What are you talking about? A creep like that is better off- Ow! Besides, I think it's too early to say anything's been taken care of. Yeah, I have to find out if this thing even works anymore. Hmm. Blastia cores don't break all that easily. Huh. Bet you didn't know that, did you, Ra Raven? Jeez, what is up with that guy? Just showing up whenever he wants. You're one to talk, Rita. Takes all kinds, I suppose. He probably headed back to Dongrist. I'm sure we can find him if we need to. I'll go on ahead as well. I left my people with a considerable amount of work. Your Highness, if you would please accompany me. Um, can't I stay with everyone a little longer? We'll look after your unreasonable princess a little longer. Isn't that easier for you too? We'll make sure she gets to Dongrest. <sighs> Very well. But in exchange, I ask that you take the utmost caution. Absolutely no detours, okay? All right, all right. Then I take my leave, Your Highness, until we meet again in Dongrest. Thank you, Flynn. Why do you look so sad? Are you okay? I was just thinking. I still owe that creep to Deki a good beating. You got the Blastia back. Isn't that enough? Why chase after some stupid thief? Yeah, I guess you're right. If I ever cross paths with him, though, he's in for a surprise. Waiting for me in hell, huh? Why do you have to go and say that? Hey, come on already! Let's get back to Dongrest! Well, I will take my leave from you here. Off to meet up with your partner? Partner? Who do you mean? We'll be operating individually from now on. That way we won't interfere with each other's work. I see. I'll well, see you later. Yeah.